Okay, so I just stopped and made my phone call to report that I am an hour from my delivery and uh, get instructions on what to do once I have delivered this load. But that's not why I'm recording this segment of this video. I want to tell you or talk to you about safe driving. I'm not going to complain about other drivers. I'm just going to talk about the mentality that's required to be driving safely. And something that was that came to my mind, like a, a comparison to safe driving or comparison to or whatever, is like a game of chess when you're out here on the road and you're operating a vehicle. Like you're you are one of the pieces the on a chessboard for 61 miles. Bless you. And uh, you have to understand where the other pieces on the road are going to go and where they're going to move so that you don't end up in checkmate. So when you come into certain areas, you have to understand where other vehicles are going to be moving, if they're going to be getting in your way, going to be hit, like running into the back of you if you hit the brakes. So you really have to be thinking about it. So what what does being like a conscientious driver pertain to? Like what is driving? Well, it's it's perception, reaction, and application. So first, before you react, you have to see something. Otherwise, you're reacting to something imaginary. There's nothing there. You just react. Like all of a sudden, something's gonna hit you. Fish. Like oh my god, look out! But there's nothing there. You're just seeing things. But if something's actually there and you see it, like someone's about to hit you in the face, you flinch and you, and you move back. You saw it, you perceived it, and then you're, you had an impulsive reaction to avoid it. But we don't want to do that on the road and just suddenly swerve out of someone's way. You want to perceive and anticipate other people's moves. Just like on a chessboard, you don't move your piece there, and then when somebody else moves their, their piece and they're going to take yours, you you can't just move your piece out of the way back to where it was it's too late they, they they got you so you have to anticipate other people's moves so you have to see it before it happens just like a game of chess you know, you want to make sure that you are in a safe position and you're defending your territory so that no one can checkmate you make sense so like I'll just talk about one of the one of the places that's a pretty easy one. It's very common, uh, prob a problematic area on the road are on ramps and off ramps, and a good way to anticipate the moves on around that area are to look ahead and see like an overpass. If you're on an interstate, you look ahead, you see that overpass coming up. Uh, you know it's probably going to be an an off-ramp and an on-ramp. Well, you can look at that overpass, and if you see vehicles on the overpass, you can see them turning and getting on the on-ramp. So you're already anticipating traffic merging on, on the road. So the next thing you do is you look in your mirror, you check traffic behind you, traffic that's coming up in the other lane, so that you know which direction you're gonna go if you have to avoid the merging traffic's move, or other people's moves as they move in front of you, to exit, possibly break or something like that. So you're already setting yourself up and anticipating that. You're perceiving something happening before it happens. That way you don't just impulsively react. So when something does happen, you're already ready for it so that your reaction is a planned decision on what you're going to do. And then the third part's the actual application. So the reaction is a decision that you make, not just an impulsive move. That would be the application part. So I see someone's getting merging on the highway, they're going slow, it's unsafe for me to change lanes, and I can't really hit the brakes really, really hard, but I might have to slow down to avoid colliding with somebody, even though it's not, I have the right of way to keep going. If I keep going, there will be a collision, so I would lightly apply the brakes, or even flash my brakes to alert the traffic behind me that I'm going to be sl slowing down working together as a team which brings another point that this is not a competition on the road we are all a 
on the same team. There's no opposing sides. We all have to work together cohesively. So you just anticipate other people's moves. Make a decision on what you're going to do if somebody move that makes that move and then you'll have your application on what you do whether you, you indicate change lanes or you apply the brakes or you make the decision to maintain your speed or maybe even speed up a little bit to allow the merging traffic to get on to avoid them and in any way what you're trying to do is be defensive just like a game of chess you have to defend your territory defend your pieces so that you don't end up checkmate and in the hospital or worse and your family's attending your funeral and that happens a lot more than it ever should that number needs to be zero and the closer we can get to eliminating injuries and deaths out here on the road the better the better we can work together the better we can reduce that number thanks for listening to this video I hope that you that you anticipate other people's moves on the road and work work with traffic not against it you have a good day